We're in a battle for the soul of the nation. Joe Biden is advertising his so-called faithfulness again. In a campaign video released on Sunday, the Democrat presidential hopeful reflected on his visit to the Vatican. I just walked out the side door of St. Peter's Basilica after a meeting and getting an opportunity to shake hands and have a brief conversation with Pope Francis. Noting what he thinks it means to be a Catholic. We are a brother's keeper. We have an obligation. I think that's the way, the only way we're going to make the world better and safer. The ad was in response to President Trump painting Biden as anti-God on numerous occasions. No religion, no anything. Hurt the Bible, hurt God. Biden claims to be a Catholic, but his views on abortion and gay marriage, among other issues, say otherwise. I support a woman's right to choose. I support it's a constitutional right. I've supported it. I will continue to support it. Crazy online hate sites. Homosexual apologist Father James Martin defended the notion in a tweet, quote, Mr. Biden is a baptized Catholic. Thus, he is a Catholic. The tweet was in response to Providence, Rhode Island Bishop Thomas Tobin's comments on the Democrat frontrunner and his vice presidential pick, Kamala Harris. Quote, Biden Harris, first time in a while that the Democratic ticket hasn't had a Catholic on it. Sad. Harris is a concern to faithful Catholics because not only has she demonstrated an antipathy towards Catholicism, as when she grilled federal judge nominee Brian Busher regarding his membership in the Knights of Columbus, saying, quote, since 1993, you have been a member of the Knights of Columbus, an all-male society. And were you aware the Knights of Columbus opposed a woman's right to choose when you joined the organization? But also in regard to her failure to prosecute clerical sex abuse as San Francisco's district attorney, ignoring Joey Piscitelli and others after her election in 2004 when he brought his case forward. She shielded and protected them, and we were just... We were floored at what happened. Biden typically mentions that he finds solace in attending church, how it helps him overcome the grief of losing his wife, daughter, and son. But when he receives communion while unashamedly supporting abortion, a mortal sin according to Canon 1398, quote, a person who procures a completed abortion incurs an automatic excommunication, making Trump's accusation that Biden policies hurt God an undeniable fact. As president, protecting religious freedom is one of my highest priorities. Joseph Enders, Church Militant, Detroit.